Hey, welcome to Young Face Beauty's YouTube channel. I am here. My name is Jessica. Since 2017, I have sold long-lasting anti-aging products, skincare, makeup, and I finally feel like I'm entering a new stage and I can be more free, I can be more open, and I can be more myself than ever on here with you guys. I feel like we all have a story. First, let me start with saying that. Everyone's story is valid. Everyone's story is worth being told. And everyone's story is worth respect. I've been with Xenogen since 2017, and it really promoted wellness in my life and healthy womanhood and wanting to be more than just a stay-at-home mom, which nothing wrong with that. Props to every stay-at-home mom. It is the most important job. It is also the most underappreciated, right? I wanna get into a lot of stuff, but I don't wanna overwhelm and I don't wanna bore you and I don't wanna take up your time. I'm really just here to share a message, a message that I believe God has put in my heart and soul and mind and if I don't deliver it, then I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing on this planet, on Earth. Much, here goes nothing. Gonna do makeup now. Hope you enjoy. The color correcting tint and moisturizer also acts as a, a mechanical shield. A total of 30 SPF on your face with uh, our moisturizer and our either tinted moisturizer, which is like a lighter, lightweight coverage versus our foundations, which are amazing as well. Waterproof, all that jazz, anti-aging. We have this um, name for ourselves as Senegens. We're the first to put skincare in our makeup products. So we, we say that our products are skincare, pigmented skincare. As much as we want flawless looking skin with makeup, it's the skincare that actually gives you the flawless looking like face, right? You can wear the most expensive makeup in the world, but si no te cuidas la piel, if you don't take care of your skin, drink water, stay hydrated, get sun to a healthy degree, we are in need of sun. Sun um, is vitamin D and it's very good for our bodies and even babies. So limited obviously. Everything in moderation, um, natural things in moderation, you know, there's a lot of stuff in our food that is not natural and that's why a lot of humans are dealing with health issues because your body does not know how to digest all these things that scientists have made in labs. This is my, just removes the redness. It like kind of just makes it more even keel. So I have more of a pretty canvas to work with. Our face is our canvas, ladies, am I right? This is, a lot of powder comes out. Um, and it's also an SPF. I like sunlight. Obviously, you know it could cause damage. So, you know, just prepare when you go into the sun. Don't go unprepared into the sun, right? Like, preparation, preparation is key. Here is where I just do what I want. <laughs> the, like, the base is done. Let's do lip scents, because that's my favorite step. Full of my lip scents I've collected over the years. This is the remover for lip scents. It's a more. It's like a it was a limited edition. Um, it's like a pretty purpley pink, which is kind of what my shirt is. So let's do it. My friend got me this ring light, which I was so happy. God knows the people he's ready to put into your life when you're ready to stop being so hard-headed and listen to him. So you just do three layers. 
Okay, it's drying in between that, right? So we let it dry. Um, I just need one more favorite. And of course, lip chins. Last up to 18 hours. Seal with a gloss. So, I actually, my favorite matte gloss is the Maw Velvet Matte. So, it's kind of sticky before you seal it with gloss, but once you seal it with the gloss, you have lips that will handle anything and the color will stay. Just apply your gloss. Well, finishes of gloss. <laughs> I have, like I said, I've been in this company since 2017, so you gotta know I've collected a good amount. <laughs> so, mm, I think Amore. We're gonna do blush scents and Pinkberry. It's the only blush I've ever needed to buy because it's just so good, like, that I look. It looks good, like it looks nice, you know? Um, so I've never really invested in other colors, but I will. Our blush is amazing. A little goes such a long way. I put a lot, but hey, I'm going to buffer it out. <laughs> and then my brush here saves me, so. Blush literally stays all day, and you can see it's so pigmented. So, if you do too much, you could always just take your foundation brush and just kind of see less than that. All good. There are no mistakes in makeup. You're just making a decision that wasn't the best, and then you're figuring out a better decision. How about that? How about that? How about we start telling our kids that? You know what? You didn't make the best choice. Make a better choice next time. Why the shame? Why all the guilt? Like, it's clearly not working, you know? Study the numbers of mental health affecting kids. It's really high, scary high. We're not talking about it, but it's worse than other rates, I would say. Next step is lashes. Lash primer that conditions your lashes and separates and lifts and kind of puts them into place for when you put your mascara on. You don't need to build so much with your mascara because your primer already did the building for you. I don't even curl my lashes. This is just what I do. Lashes look great. And that's all I really want is my lashes to look amazing and actually be mine. I always need a cute tip at this point. My lashes, since getting long, like I just always hit the my eyelids. I'll deal with that and just clean it up rather than hating having long beautiful lashes I freaking love that obviously this will be all me filming and all me editing so take it easy on me in those areas I feel like those are the things that stop us from trying to become you just go on YouTube and make content because you're like caught up in like the editing and like how hard that is because that's like what all I hear like fashion and beauty bloggers kind of like bitch about is like the editing, the editing, the editing. I am not even gonna trip about that. Honestly, if you want like perfectly edited videos, there's plenty of places to find them, right? Literally here because I'm tired of limiting myself to Instagram. I'm, I want to see what's out here. For me, my family is supporting me. They're out there in the living room waiting for me to be done with this so that we can continue family time. And the life that I'm living is the life that I've always wanted to be living. And I 
feel like the only thing that keeps me quiet is that I'm not like rolling in Benjamins. I'm not fucking rich. I'm not blowing money left and right. And I feel like that's the only thing that keeps me from posting or like sharing my life or how I've gotten here to this point where I feel very free from society's standards and free from the obligations that even certain family members want to put on to you as a younger person in their family. Sometimes standing up for yourself and saying no to abuse is the only way to free yourself from said I'll get more into abuse but um, you know lots of children are abused in America and the system fills lots of children and then those children grow up to be adults we're all just trying to do our best and we're all just trying to not be judged lest not we be judged right like don't judge because you don't want to be judged that's always been what it's been but now it's like people are just freely judging because of the internet. The internet. Shadow is next. You know, I just want to be free. I want to talk. I, I don't want a limit, a time limit. I just need to say what I feel like God is asking me to say. Um, to whoever is willing to resonate with me, right? I'm not here for everyone. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. Not everyone is meant to agree with you and not everyone is meant to bond with you and connect with you. And we gotta stop beating ourselves up for those things. Life really does go on and it really can have brighter, better moments and even more connected friends. Friends that are really, really gonna resonate with you and what you have to say and what you're doing on earth. I'm gonna attempt a very simple eye look. Right here I have lilac, shadow sense. So our shadows are also waterproof and they last all day and they don't crease and literally perfection. Joni Rogers Kante, she's like the lady that made Senegens and she's incredible and she literally created a business out of thin air. She worked her way um, up the ranks of I think Mary Kay and then she was like, you know what? I'm gonna create my own makeup line. <laughs> and she did. And it is awesome. It's about knowing that abundance is out there. Even if your family never taught you abundance, even if you know your parents had a scarcity mindset like mine, abundance is out there. And the people that have it, they know that it's real, right? And they wanna share it with the world. But there is like a, there's a way to do things, right? Why not teach women to run a business where they do what I'm doing, showing makeup online and make money, running their households, you know, taking their kids to their activities, whatever life you wanna live. Don't like something, fix it. If you can't fix it, get away from it. Thankfully makeup, we can always fix it. I'm gonna do like a sparkly eye um, with purple. So that's what we're going for today. This is my favorite glacier glitter. It's sold out, but a um, new one that's also like a glitter uh, like this, so. I, that's what I like, like some things are limited edition, but the company does a great job of like, replacing the colors, like um, just giving you something that reminds you of it, but it's like different, you know, it's cool. Like, I love this company. I could say no wrong about this company. This company, Literally, you feel like accepted me when people didn't and people wouldn't, so, you know. This is my home. A lot of women, like, bring it down to their lashes. But, well. I will be so sad when I finish my wind shimmer. This wind shimmer is divine. It's divina. It's divina.
want this to be a beginner video and introduction video so let's just get straight to it I am a Latina I am Mexican American I am 30 years old I have two children I've been married for since 2016 so we've been together longer than that but the whole idea of this is just to introduce you to who I am um, so that you can maybe resonate with anything that I do say hopefully learn we don't have to go through the same thing to be able to resonate with each other and to be able to empathize with one another and to be able to grow our hearts bigger and, you know, better than ever before. The story of Grinch, it sticks with my daughter because she tells me, mommy, his heart was too small so he couldn't believe in love. And then when everyone still is nice to him, his heart grows. And I feel like that's kind of what we need today as a society. I feel like it's a year long thing that people feel like Grinch, people feel unloved and unwelcomed and disrespected. And it's not our fault but it is our responsibility as human beings and as neighbors of one another to notice and take charge and help one another and not just say that's not my problem. Like I've dealt with people calling me a problem in my own family to the point where I'm not speaking to certain family members right now just because of principle and because if I'm going to be lowered to certain standards for family, then I have no hope with strangers. So I have to have boundaries and I have to put out the message that I am trying to send. And if people choose to say, I don't get your message or I don't understand you or what you're doing is lame or X, Y, Z, obviously those people just need to go away or I need to get out of their lives. It's come to that point, I'm 30 years old. I don't wanna be around people who don't tolerate me or my opinions or my, it's not like tolerate, tolerate does not mean agree. Tolerate means respect. Tolerate means, okay, that's going on in her world, cool. You don't have to agree. You don't have to, you also don't have to offend. Like, I feel like that's where we're breaking down as a society because we're saying if I don't agree or if they don't agree with me, then we're enemies. And you know what? It's tiring to make enemies of the whole world. It's tiring to say, I have to fight everyone today, every day. I have a mental health illness that I deal with. It's called bipolar disorder and it can escalate to worse things if I allow it to. And that's why I live how I live because I want to be free. And if being free means being a little more isolated away from the city, away from what I grew up with, then so be it. I'm ready to live the life that God has for me more so than the life my parents envisioned, more so than the life my ancestors wanted me to have. As much as I respect and admire and honor the people that got me safely to this country, to America, to the United States of America, as literally my mother is an immigrant from Mexico. So to say that I see this country crumbling is the saddest thing that I could say. But I was raised to be conservative. I am a Christian. I don't agree that everyone should be doing all these heinous medical procedures for the sake of acceptance. You should not be deforming your God-given body for acceptance. And I will get into scripture. I will get into what the Bible says and I will get into what God says about this. Because we are destroying our youth. We are destroying our youth, America. 
pray with me now? For the youth, for the children, for the future of this planet. It's more than gas, it's more than fossil fuels, it's more than plastic in the ocean. It's our children's souls. And I just wanna cry because I was supposed to be a teacher and I decided the education system doesn't help kids, it harms them. And then I went into art and I studied art. And art drove me insane because I realized that artists are literally just insane people that just make art. <laughs> and then I dropped out of college. And then I did pharmacy tech and I did really, really well in pharmacy tech and I loved it and I thought that the pharmacy was gonna be for me. And I got denied my license because of a misdemeanor, because of some stupid thing I did when I was 21 and I was bipolar and I was having an episode. So, life does not go as planned. It does not mean you deserve to kill yourself. It does not mean you deserve not to live. And it does not mean that God doesn't love you. God loves you. He's the only one that does. Please learn this. Please accept it. And please pray for the mental health of all the youth.